Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I will do review of Pismo. It is an AI assistant which comes as a standalone application. And while it is not unique, there are other similar applications. It is a very interesting one because at the moment it is available as a lifetime deal and you can get unlimited requests. So for license tier one, you get still a generous amount, 2000 requests monthly. However, the most interesting deal, I think, is license tier two, because basically you're getting your chat GPT alternative. I think underneath they are using the latest model like GPT 4.0 mini, and basically you get unlimited access to ChatGPT. So what is Pismo? It is, as I mentioned before, an AI assistant, which you can install on your computer and we'll see how it works. But basically you will use that in any application. Here it mentions that it integrates with Slack, Figma, Telegram, Outlook. However, I didn't see the direct integration like adding additional buttons into those applications. Definitely you can write messages in Slack, but I will show you how. It will not add any additional buttons to those applications. So yeah, basically that's it. Let's see how Pismo works. And I will show you my favorite use case later in the video. So how I would use Pismo myself. All right, so when you install Pismo, you will see this icon. If we go to the settings, we can see that it comes with some predefined prompts. And I think the great flexibility is that you can add your own custom prompts. For example, you can write some kind of prompt to replace Grammarly, for example, or this is interesting for me. I've added this prompt to translate Japanese to English because I've started learning Japanese. So using traditional ChatGPT, and by the way, I'm using TeamGPT, it is a wrapper which sends requests to ChatGPT API. By the way, great tool, free for two users with your own API key. So with this tool, I have created a prompt to translate from Japanese to English and I need some explanation because Japanese has different writing systems. So actually, let's see how it works in action. I have configured my quick prompt to combination of command Q to translate and give explanation. So for example, I can select this character, press Ctrl Q and the window will appear and I am given the detailed explanation. Jamarisk has three writing systems. So this is a kanji character, which can be written in hiragana, katakana, and romaji. So romaji gives pronunciation in Roman letters. So we can press escape and we can translate the full sentence. Pressing command Q again. This is a combination of, well, it is a hotkey combination, which I have configured. And here, based on my prompt, I am given the detailed explanation. Well, first of all, I am given the full translation. Then I am given the explanation of each kanji character. What does it mean? How it is pronounced? And then several other parts of that sentence. Let's see other example. Let's quickly select this one pressing hotkey combination one more time. And here it is. We are given the translation of the full combination of two kanji characters and then explanation of each one of those. Then how it is written in hiragana, katakana, two writing systems from Japanese and how it is pronounced using Roman letters. Yep, so basically that's a very powerful use case which I will probably use for myself. So with this tool, it is pretty easy to learn a language, I would say.
Okay, let's explore another example how maybe you would use this tool. So here is the welcome letter from Pismo. Let's create the reply. And first of all, let's ask it to write a reply with errors. So there is a feature where you can invoke Pismo with selected text. So on Mac, by default, it is Command Shift C. So now let's ask the AI. to write a reply with errors. Here it is, and we can copy that and paste it here. So now we can select the text one more time, invoke it with copy text, and down below you can see quick prompts which you can put here. You can assign a combination of keys to invoke that particular prompt quicker. But let's use my own Grammarly prompt. And here we are. And let's replace the selection. And that's it. So you can improve your prompt further, but you get the idea. Okay, so let's explore another feature. Well, Pismo says that it integrates with tools like Slack, but it will integrate in the form like you write a message. And then just select text, invoke Pismo with the combination of characters with selected text and for example you can make it longer. So basically you select a particular text, apply a particular prompt, replace selection and that's how you use it in tools like Slack for example. Okay, so I think that concludes my review of Pismo. I think it is pretty cool software and especially if you are lucky to get this on a lifetime deal. Even License Tier 1 will work great, 2000 requests monthly, I think it is still generous. However, License Tier 2 is a hidden gem here. Basically, you are getting unlimited access to ChatGPT without any subscription. And this AI Assistant works on Mac and on Windows PC as well. And one of the greatest features is that you can add unlimited custom prompts. So yeah, I think Pismo is a great tool, especially on a lifetime deal with unlimited access. So if you would like to get this tool, please check my link in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.